Hi, my name is Jeff Wilker. I'm a software architect working on the Nokia network services platform. Machine learning is of interest in network automation for a number of reasons. Modern networks are complex and constantly evolving, and they simply produce too much data for humans to consume. Machine learning can assist in this, ultimately improving operator productivity and saving time. So I'll start by describing a few of the use cases that we're applying machine learning to. Manually configured threshold crossing alerts can be challenging to, to manage at scale and can often produce many false positives since they don't reflect dynamic network behavior. Instead, traffic baselines can be used to automatically learn expected traffic behavior based on time of day and day of week, such that once the expected normal operating behavior has been learned, then when unexpected things happen, meaningful anomalies can be detected and raised. A second use case is relating through cutting through the noise in a network. Networks generate enormous amounts of event data, too much for operators to consume manually. Machine learning can be applied to correlate events and produce much more meaningful situations, reducing the event volume from tens of thousands of events to a handful of situations. Furthermore, um, unwanted noise can be dropped from the network and not presented to the operator at all. I'll start with a, an overview of a, the new application that we're building for the NSP. It takes a number of inputs, including things like a static network data, like network topology and inventory. It also takes dynamic data, like a number of different event types, including configuration changes, alarms, and anomaly events. These events are inputted into machine learning algorithms, which correlate the events from tens of thousands of events to a handful of situations using no pre-written correlation rules. Once meaningful situations are, are identified from the event data, they are input into a recommendation engine such that through operator feedback over time, the system can be trained and learn to make recommended actions based on past situations should they occur again in the future. Also, situations that are not meaningful can be dropped from the system as noise and not presented to the operator at all. Okay, I'm going to start this demo showing a global event view with the events into the system at the top that were correlated to a single situation in the bottom. We can see events are categorized by type, and here we're looking at a received bad packets event that was generated by our anomaly system. As we flip to a global view, this will show some overall statistics on the system where we processed 20, 71,000 events into 19 situations over 24 hours. And there are two new situations that have been identified in the system. Now the main view into the system is analogous to an email system where all new situations appear in the current category at the top and are moved into a recommendation category automatically based on our similarity engine. We can see our top recommended situation and drill into its details. So the new situations on the left and we can see the various event details presented by network layer. At the physical layer, there are actually no alarms but there are a number, number of anomaly events for example, received total octets or received bad packets, which indicates where traffic was being dropped in the network. Problems tend to occur upward, so we see a bunch of impacted tunnels and services beyond that. Now, if we flip to a recommendation view, we can see similar situations that have occurred in the past. So here, we can see a few matches with the closest match being scored at an 89% similarity where operators have previously, previously labeled the situation as an Ethernet traffic corruption and some actions that were taken to resolve it and applied a few comments, for example, saying that the received bad packets events were of interest. So now if we look at the raw events in the situation, we can focus on anomaly events that occurred and specifically look at the details around a received bad packets event. So we can drill into the baselining details for a particular interface where that anomaly occurred. We can see this is taken over time as it was sampled over time. So as we zoom into the most recent period, we can see two lines where the blue line represents the learned value for expected traffic. The green line is what occurred now, which went way over the baseline resulting in a red anomaly event. So as we switch back to the recommendation view, we can see that the new situation on the left looks very similar to the, to the closest recommended similar situation, at which point we can 
associate them together, which copies all previously entered operator labels. The operator can then add additional labels and comments. Once they're, that's complete, they can mark it as complete, which will effectively add the new situation into the recommendation engine should that occur again in the future. So what I've demonstrated is that we've used machine learning techniques to do an, a massive event reduction, only presenting a meaningful number of situations to an operator. Furthermore, as the system has been trained over time, it's able to provide recommendations to the operator to provide faster problem resolution. Ultimately, this results in better operator productivity and time savings. Thanks for your attention.